Hi, everybody. I am Mike Bailey. I'm, I'm Raf. This is Raf. We are here to talk about web services we just don't need. Now, I had a talk that I wrote. Well, I sort of wrote it a while back. And I had slides, sort of. And they all self destructed with the a big major malfunction of encryption and hard drives. I don't have any slides or anything now, so we're, we're going to wing it. My opinion is that if the best way to be prepared for any event is to just be able to wing it anyway. So if we don't know this shit by now, we probably shouldn't be up here, right? I don't know shit. Okay, sorry. These are rock star mics. Okay. Does that mean we need groupies? <laughs> Dude, I have groupies. All right. <laughs> not you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he does not count. All right, so let's talk about some web services. Um, I break a lot of web applications. Um, I, I do re web application research penetration testing for a living and occasionally I stumble across things that just don't belong on the internet. Um, you guys know a few of those, right? Yeah. You, you've, you've probably got some ideas and actually I, we might have them shout some out and then we'll discuss. Yeah. If you, if you feel like you have one that you'd like to hear discussed. <laughs> disgusted. Windows. <laughs> Windows isn't a web ser well. You're in the wrong track, dude. Yeah. <laughs> AOL. AOL. AOL stats is a big one. AOL stats is actually yeah. All right. Which, what was I going to start with? I have a friend. His name's Trey Ford. Is he here? He's dude, not here. Trey went to bed like an hour ago. All right. Um, Trey takes his barbecue pretty seriously. If you guys don't know what a barbecue is, it's a big box that makes smoke, and when you're when you're grilling your or not grilling when you're smoking your meat, you have to. There's gonna be too many meat jokes here. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. on Sunday. Why are you people here? <laughs> this was unexpected. All right. So when you're smoking your ribs, you have to be very careful about constant temperature and monitoring your meat. Um, so what Trey has is he has a. What? Trey has a PC fan and two probes attached to his. <laughs> Does anybody have a bottle he can make Mike drink every time he uh, he he loses his train of thought? I'm not I'm not losing my train of thought. I'm just trying not to make any dirty jokes. Or Dude, <laughs> but you know yeah, what? The, is, the best dirty jokes are the implied ones. Yeah. Do, do you know where you are? <laughs> Anyways. So he's got a, um, the probes in the, in the PC fan attached to a computer, which is in a plastic bag because it rains sometimes in San Francisco. And that's all sitting outside next to his smoker. So this is all run through a web server that's sitting in that PC and it tweets too. So during the course of like a 14 hour smoking of a, um, a, 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 a piece of pork. Um, during the course of that, it'll be tweeting the whole time, and he can monitor it. It makes graphs, nice little updates, things like that. Well, one day he, or when he first got it, he was showing it off, and he actually upload, uploaded some of the graphs to TwitPic or some shit like that. And speaking of web services, we don't need. <laughs> we'll get there. And um, first of all, in that in those graphs, it has the IP address of the smoker. And I'm sitting there, and I mean, an internal IP address that may not be all that useful. But then, so, so, so as we're talking, at some point, when you guys hear something that uh, that sounds interesting to you, I want everybody to go, "What could possibly go wrong?" At the same time. Yes. All right. So, anyways. <laughs> right, they're awake. Yeah. Why? Why are you guys here? <laughs> Don't you have better things dude, to do? Dude, they're still coming in. All right. <laughs> anyways, so. Now I have the IP address of his smoker. I have the, what the version of the software that's running, so I can go find a copy and download the source code. I actually had to, I actually had to find the guy that wrote the source co or the code because it's kind of obscure and ghetto, and I had to actually con him into giving me a copy of the source code by telling him that I wanted to help him do development on it. And so I start looking at it. It's fucking full of cross-site scripting holes, cross-site request forgery holes, things like that. Um, so what you're saying is you could help Trace smoke. <laughs> So, Never mind. <laughs> anyways, the end result is that now every time Trey, I'd have a, I have a great slide with a screenshot, but now every time Trey goes to um, update his smoker, 
um, it pops up little messages at him, and he gets a nice little reminder of me. It's fun. It's beautiful. Yes. Every time Trey goes to smoke his meat, there's Mike. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So that's I'm one of the, the comedy really. That's one of the stupid ones, but that's not really all that serious or that dangerous or anything like that. <laughs> it, it is. It's a bad thing. No, but actually, think about how many of those there are on the internet. And if you used, uh, if you used that really cool banner grabbing, uh, I think there's four on the internet. I told you this thing was ghetto. <laughs> the fact that you know that worries <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody here have one? <laughs> Do you have a smoker on the internet? <laughs> There's other stupid tw services that use Twitter, though. Uh, who's heard of Tweet My PC? Anybody? <laughs> yeah. Well, Mike. Tweet, tweet My PC is a way to remotely control your computer via Twitter. Now, Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Twitter. It's like, it's like go to My PC or WebEx, only more secure. Yes. <laughs> Because nobody has ever hacked a Twitter account before. So the way it works is you basically send commands to your PC. It will execute them and send the response back. And there's specific commands you can do or you can say CMD and then say whatever shell command you want it to run. Now, th this was written by a guy. He was, he's a Microsoft MVP, most valued programmer. I don't actually know what that means because I'm not in the Microsoft culture. They have acronyms for everything. But um, th this guy knows how to code. I mean, I've, he's written built a project that's actually a fairly impressive code base, I mean, for what it is, and he never stopped to think what could possibly go wrong. That's awesome. So uh, one of, some of the other commands that this thing um, can run are things like take screenshots and post them up to TwitPic. Now if you're no, – hold, hold on. I, I, I want to reflect on that for a second as, okay. we, as we watch the fire crackle. You know, it, it's, it's a really good idea. Take screenshots randomly of your PC. When you don't know what's on the screen, obviously, because you're taking the damn screenshot. Right. <laughs> yes, because you know it, it's a it's a really good idea because um, there's no possible way anybody could view those in order and see what you have, read your email. Yeah. So I, I have a directory on my web server now that it, I actually have a bot that pulls down those pictures every time they get posted. <laughs> yeah, funny story. So um, we were. Um, we were we were talking a while. Was was must have been last year, I think, Mike. Yeah. We've been slacking on this project horribly, haven't we? We're bad so, at everything. Yesterday, apparently, and on, if, who was here for the fail panel yesterday? Yeah. So you know the uh, really cool uh, thing they did with the data mining the pictures. Yeah, we did it a long time before that. We just too damn lazy to do anything with it. Um, One day we'll get around to taking it to the next level and like OCRing all the screenshots. It'll be badass. So what the, the the backstory is. <clears throat> I apologize for my loss of voice, but it's really hard to yell over uh, 1,400 people. Um, we, were, uh, we were sort of chatting on, uh, back and forth about uh, some, some things we saw, and I, I just sort of saw somebody post a, uh, sort of post a, uh, a screenshot, and uh, I'm like, hey, that's a random uh, alphanumeric uh, six-character six length, six length uh, identifier. I bet we could write a really quick loop that could grab all of them. So uh, apparently the, uh, the math I didn't do in my head is how many combinations there were times about 120K each. We pulled down all of TwitPic. I, yeah, we, I pretty much <laughs> have all of, yeah. <laughs> so there's a, uh, there's a one and a quarter terabyte someplace. Um, so by the way, ext3 does not like that big of a directory in one place. <laughs> I think I've accidentally found the limitations of which. So every time you try to view that, you know, open that directory, just sort of looks at you and goes, no. I'm sorry, but no. So there are, there are some interesting things. And as I was looking through there and deleting all the porn, because nobody wants that, uh, and sending it to Mike, um, <laughs> I, I, I did notice that, um, that there were some very interesting things. Like uh, there was a guy that was getting help from his tech support team with a spreadsheet he was working on for next quarter's forecast. I, I just want you guys to think about that for a second, because um, – that's this quarter. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've, I've got the screenshot. It's beautiful. It's still up on Twitter. So, did you know that you can't? Actually, this is not true anymore. You can now, as of a few months ago. Until a few months ago, you weren't able to actually delete pictures from Twitpic. You could remove them from your stream, but they'd still be there if somebody knew the code, the path. And when this tweet, my PC thing posted those pictures, it would have the path on there. 
So even after people deleted them, I could go back and find them later on. I found all kinds of interesting things. There was one I found was somebody just set up a um, just set up a remote desktop server, and they had their username, password, IP address, all the connection information, sitting there waiting for clients to uh, connect. It was great. I, I didn't actually connect. I should have. So um, I don't uh, have anybody here that was at ThoughtCon. Yes, one Rocky person. Guys. Uh, do you guys, uh, oh, do you guys remember what we talked? What I what I did? <coughs> All right. So, thank you. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. So, uh, I have a particular uh, love for Flash. If you guys don't know, it's not Flash so much because you know I'm, I'm not I have really a special hate hatred for Flash. We, we know, Mike. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Step number three, man. Um, and it's not that I hate Flash particularly. It's I just dislike the people that write Flash because they're not really IT people. They really have no desire to code anything. They just like to drag and drop. So, um, yeah, it's okay. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, no, so uh, I, I, yeah, I, I do a fair amount of these uh, these uh, web assessments in my uh, in my uh, everyday job uh, in the boring part of life. Um, I get out there and you know you try to convince people that uh, that doing things. It, that are that that were bad in 1997 with JavaScript um, is now bad with Flash because they just can't seem to grasp that concept. So, um, case in point, so we're going to talk about you know, services we, we don't need. Um, so this is a uh, this is a place that I was at. I was having a conversation with the C level group, uh, you know, C level executive, and um, he was telling us about all the awesome uh, Web 2.0 stuff. By the way, if we say Web 2.0, you can throw shit at us. It's all right. Um, all the <laughs> All the web 1.9999999 um, stuff, <laughs> stuff that uh, that was that they had, and how all the great development they were doing, and how they were migrating to new media, and um, and that they were migrating their, you know, they were migrating all their platforms to more usable, more um, more open, um, more flashy environments, and and he couldn't stop bragging about this new ERP app they were writing. Anybody see where this is going yet? Yeah. So go ahead, say it nice and loud. That's right. So uh, yeah. So he's talking about this ERP app, and I'm just sort of staring at him. And I mean, like just staring. Like he just grew horns and a tail, staring. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he just he stops midstream, and he's like, "I'm. Did, am I saying something wrong?" I said, "You you wrote a ERP front end in Flash." He said, oh yeah, that's really cool. He goes, you gotta see this. And so he, <laughs> then he decided to take it upon himself to demo it, which was awesome. Um, by the way, you guys, does, does anybody here use a uh, flash encryption tool? <laughs> More on that later. Um, <laughs> or maybe we should just segue into that real quick. So sidebar. Um, it's, Oh no! Google it. It's viewed as an entire market. If anybody wants to, you can look it up right now. The thing, there really isn't any such thing as a flash encryption tool, right. but there's a market for it. So, so there, people will sell you one. There's about there there. Oh, what the hell! Fail. Okay. So there's about uh, there's several hundred tools out there, uh, several hundred companies that will sell you a, a, a tool anywhere from ninety nine dollars to the enterprise pro version for one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars uh, to encrypt your flash apps. Right, well, that was weak. Weak sauce. That's all right. You can try again. We'll let it slide this time. Okay. Beautiful. Now that see that was allowed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So these flash. Uh, so what's the? F you know, after all, uh, Flash is a uh, is a uh, a language that uh, requires. A uh, an inter you know something to run it right it requires a, a, a sort of an interpreter to run it on the local machine. Um, so if you're going to encrypt a flash file, step one of running it is what? And thank you for your one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> anyway, so this guy's telling me about all this this beautiful flash app and how they've encrypted it, and so I gave him this story about why that was just complete, you know, smoker. Um, and uh, that's going to be a joke, dude. Just say mm. smoker randomly. Yeah. Uh, and so it already is a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So he's talking about it, and he's.